share with you an easy way to customize your WordPress registration page. Are you ready to get started? Let's go. All right, let me share my screen. Real quick here. Okay. So as you know, when you log in to your WordPress website, it looks a lot like this. You're going to see a basic um, WordPress login. And for our people visiting our website, that's kind of boring. We really want to give them a personalized experience. So what we're going to do is we are going to use a plugin that I love and recommend um, to create a registration page that is branded. So let me back. Let me, let me get real quick. I'm going to switch here um, and show you. Okay. So here is my website. And what I have here is an e-commerce store. And what we're going to do is create a registration page so that our clients can register for a website and they'll be able to access their account. So this is where they'll go up in and give them a nice registration page to land on. So first thing we'll do is we'll go over here and we're going to add a plugin. So let's go down to our plugins. And we'll see what we have. Okay, so we have um, the first plugin that you will need is Beaver Builder. There is a light version, which is free, but they also have, which I have here, is the pro version, which um, we have that installed. You don't need the pro version, but I tell you what, you it adds so much functionality. And then in order to build out this custom registration form, we are going to add ultimate add-ons for Beaver Builder. This is a premium extension, so it is um, does cost money. However, with this one um, plugin, it builds on top of Beaver Builder. There's over 55 plus modules, over 250 plus pre-designed templates that are literally just drop them onto your page. They've already been designed. It speeds up the workflow. So this works on top of any of the Beaver Builder packages. So free, standard, pro, or agency, and you can use it with any WordPress. So we've got those two things installed, and I'll include links to them below. Now we're going to go up and we're going to click on new page. Create a landing page for... Um, our registration form. So on the page, I'm just going to click on registration. We'll call it registration Oops. page. And I want to go ahead and launch Beaver Builder. And once we get over there, this is just our basic registration. And you'll notice that when we click on Launch Beaver Builder, it brings up our um, all the modules, roles, templates, and saved templates that I have here. Now, on this particular site, I have it set up so standard modules is separated out. And so we'll roll down to UABB, which is short for Ultimate Add-ons for Beaver Builder, and we'll click on that. See here, just right off the bat, all of the amazing options that they have for um, your website to add functionality right on your pages. There's just so much that you can do. <clears throat> now, as we scroll down, we are going to find that user registration right here. And I'm going to drag and drop it right in the middle of the page. Now, first thing you'll notice is that to use the registration form, we must enable the anyone can register setting. So what I'll save this real quick, and then I'm gonna pop over here and open a new tab so I can go back over and make sure we do that. So you go to dashboard, you scroll down the settings, and under, 
discussion, I believe. Anyone can answer? Maybe it's under. Yep. It's under settings, general membership. Just one can register and then we're going to hit save changes. All right, let's pop back over to our page. I'll refresh this really quick. Okay, so now we are. Um, form is pretty basic, right? right? But it does look a whole heck of a lot better than that WordPress login page that we had pulled up earlier in the beginning. So this just on its basic form is already light, light years ahead of the other form. So for that, I'm grateful. Now what you can see here is the user registration form module box here has a lot of options. So from fields, we can add, customize the username, the email, a password, and we can add more form fields. So let's check out what they are. Under form field four, we can add a confirmed password. We can add, add a last name. So we can add our form fields to this. And then we can include if they're aired or not and the percent width of the that we want them to be. Okay, so scrolling on down for our norm settings, we can choose to display a required mark, yes or no. So that just tells us that if the form is required, um, it would have a mark there. For a new user role, we want them when they um, register. We don't want them to be an administrator. Then you can choose if you want them to be a customer, subscriber, contributor, author, editor. So you can choose from the roles that your WordPress website has. So I want mine to be a customer since we're using WooCommerce for our shop. Um, it's telling us we have an error. Let's delete that real quick. Okay, moving along. Now, the default option will assign the user role as WordPress backend setting. We want to hide the form from logged in users. Yes, because if you're logged in, we don't want you to register again. So you won't need to see this. So we'll hide that. Now, we don't need a message for logged in users. They already know that they're logged in. Um, and then a login link, yes or no. You can also choose to add a lost your password link. That is sense. And the text, you can customize that um, to what say whatever you would like. The lost password link will default to, and you can tell it where they will go. You can customize a page that they will um, go to after they've submitted uh, the information for their lost password. Um, Enable label or no. You can choose to have a password strength checker. It's nice because sometimes people use a really easy password and we don't really want that. This is really nice. After a register is on your shop page or on your website, you can redirect them, which I really like because after they're logged in, we are going to send our people to the my, oops, my account. page, and you can also choose to send them an email, which is also really nice. So visit the email tab to send a customized email to the user. So that is a great, I would love to be able to do that. Now, auto login, use yes or no. And then if they um, have success in registering, or if there's an error, you can customize the mess they receive. Okay, now to style it up, you can choose a background color for your registration form. So let's just, whoa, whoa not purple. <laughs> that was horrible. So you can choose a background color if you choose to do so. I'm not loving this. 
Next, you can choose a border and then you can customize the text color. And then as you go down below, there is even a success message color and an error message color. I also like this passwords week strength. So you can choose a color for that or medium strength or strong. Um, you can choose the color of your link, login link. And to the next, our register button, you can choose the text, place that with register now or whatever text you'd like to use there. You can have the button width 100% or smaller. And then choose to align the button left, right, or center. And that's about it, guys. I hope you found this video useful. And, and if you have any questions, be sure to let me know. Thanks, guys. Have a great day. Bye.